Now you go. Okay, I go. Put on break. This. Break. It turns down into D. All okay. the way down. Now you're neutral. There you go. Gotcha. And we're off. All right. I want to make sure you leave the DC area with all ten toes, though. <laughs> all right. Enjoy your drive. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I need to adjust the mirrors very quickly. Oh, sure. Man. Yeah. Make yourself comfortable. Make yourself safe. Oh, there's the lawyer and you talking. <laughs> yeah, I just fixed them. Do you? Which means I don't want you to crash it. I have planes this week. You do? <laughs> okay. All right. Loop around here then. To the right? Yeah. Okay. Now, if this stalk had a one more flick down to get into regen like my RAV4 is on the transmission lever, I would love this thing, but I understand that you can change it on the screen. Yes. The regen. Can, uh, controls, regenerative braking, standard and low. So right yeah, now, I, I wish you had brisk, if you know what I mean. Brisk, uh, yeah. Well, Nino, yeah. why is when you're coming up to a signal, if you just kick it into brisk with a flick of the turn signal stop, mm -hmm. you're all set. And, and turn right, right here? here. Yep. Okay. I can't tell you enough. This thing is amazingly smooth feeling. Yes. Compared to the RAV, it's very smooth. You've got a, the mm. RAV4 EV? Yeah, right here. Oh, awesome. Wow. Oh, that's, that's a quarter of an inch, Eric. <laughs> turn left. Yep. You, you have the air conditioning on too, don't it you? It is on. Yes. Can you turn it up a little bit? Up. Forward. I will roll up my window. And clear left. Yeah. Thank the you. pillar is a little wide. I'll hold. I figure you guys, you that, kind of that's... still almost made of unobtainium. I don't want to do anything nasty. <laughs> no, please enjoy it. That's what they're here for. No, I don't. <laughs> That screen shows some, when it's like off, you can see all those fingerprints on there. Yeah, yeah. And to the right? Uh, we're going to go straight, right gotcha. around and straight. Okay. Around the circle, but straight through. Yep. Yeah. How was your drive? Seems like it drives like a normal car, right? Pretty much. It's, off, it's quieter even than the route. That's what we were shooting for. And left. It's very quiet. Right at the light. Okay. Actually, it feels really smooth. There's hardly any road noise. Oh, I love the, yeah. the uh, battery gauge. The green to the yellow is great. How's the view without the rearview mirror? A little limited. If that's the case, pull up the camera. I like that. That's much better. Oh, nice. Oh, that's really that's nice. That's a much better view. And besides that, it keeps you from surfing the internet when yeah. you're driving. I'm going to sit here and wait. What I like about it is the... Uh, the controller is excruciatingly smooth in terms of squeezing it on and off. It's very, very responsive. Yes. Where, you know, and other controllers are sometimes a little bit jerky. Mm -hmm. I think looking at that. And I like the regen level. The regen level yeah, is perfect. It's okay. really good regen. Perfect. Now, the other thing I, I miss, though, is when you put the brake on, you don't see it going into regen. In other words, when you put the brake on, are you increasing the regen? When you actually touch the brake pedal, right. uh, you are decreasing the regen because you're slowing the car down with the, with the hydraulic brakes. So if you just Shame. release off the accelerator pedal, that's when you're in full regen. Right. Okay, that'll require me to re-educate myself from the yeah. RAV. So you take your yeah. foot off the RAV, you're in regen a little bit. Touch the brake, it goes into more regen. Right. The more you touch the brake, the more regen you get. Yep. Until it hits its upper limit. We did it a little bit differently. Yeah. Hey Rob, there's a Sardis Boyle La Brasa we just passed. <laughs> really? An outpost. Are you in the right lane here? We take a Roger. Light. Clear right. It's like uh, kind of the Jaguars following us. I think he just did his drive. No, you watch me lose them on the, <laughs> on the freeway. Oh, you will. I heard that uh, Mr. Bus decided to change the, uh, the acceleration levels in, in, let's say, mid to highway speeds for uh, passing on the highway. Yeah, this, this car is incredibly capable of highway passing. Some of the things that you may not be hearing from regular guys is I like a really thick steering wheel. I like mm -hmm. the size of the steering actually, wheel. I've heard that a lot, actually. Yeah. Is that a map on the left-hand side of your... It sure is. It's uh, And it shows the interstate and everything. The nav mode come with a car? Uh, the the see, map yeah. mode does. Turn-by-turn -turn navigation comes with a technology package. So you have the map software in it either way, so you can put in uh, an address and it'll tell you how to get there. But it, but it okay. won't say, you know, turn left now, turn right now. Oh, really? Yep. Hmm. I'm going to have to rethink the technology package then. Yeah. Uh, the, the, I think, my personally, the huge benefit, benefit of the technology package is the Xenon headlights. That's probably the reason I would get it. They're, uh, I don't care. Put on my lights. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Can you click on that energy button to show us what that does? Absolutely. Oh, nice. What I like about it is slowing down for something like crossing the, the railroad tracks. I don't have to touch the brakes. Regen exactly. just right. That was the point of uh, doing it as opposed to when you just touch the brake pedal. So. No. In standard regen, when I take my foot off the accelerator pedal, do the brake lights come on? Yes. Really? How about in, in low regen, do the brake lights come on? Yes. 
Okay. I don't know if I would have agreed with that, but I, I respect his decision. It's a, it's a matter of whenever you're slowing down, let the person behind you know. In the RAV, you drive a lot with a, with a the really? stick shift. I have not driven one, so but uh, I'll, I'll loan you a ride if you're on a brake. But with I, I wish this, I had a brake. <laughs> uh, from what I understand, this is like the Roadster in that you drive almost completely with the right pedal only. Yes, yeah. exactly. Roadster is a little bit more aggressive of a regen, yeah. but uh, very, very similar. The whole point was that like Roadster, I haven't, I actually haven't even driven a Model S yet, just ridden in, a, in them a whole lot. But uh, Roadster, when I drive around the city, I almost never touch the brake pedal. Which exactly. I really enjoy. That's what I do with the RAV, and but I adjust the, the RAV's yeah. braking by just shifting between okay. regular and, and what's called uh, brake mode or okay. B mode. Okay. How do you adjust the temperature of the air conditioning? Is it an automatic air conditioning or is it just fan up, fan down? You do temperature you selection. Do. You, gotcha. you can do temperature selection for automatic or if you just want a stronger fan. Gotcha. Stronger fan. Good lord, okay, we don't need that. I was just asking. Yeah, no, just no problem. Where's there an overhead light in the car? Is that that thing? Two up here. Little little so you push. Those are kind of cool. Yeah, you push I gotta get second on. Down. Okay. But there's nothing in the back. Is this still here in the panoramic mode, or the panoramic roof? Uh, I haven't looked. We'll t take a look at one when we get back. Yeah. What I want to do is sit in one of the panoramics so I can make my final decision on it. Absolutely. Ten seconds. In the front, you won't notice much of a difference. In the back is where you really see a difference. With the pano, you get about an inch and a half. Turn right here. Right. Uh, an important question for me was, can you run with headlights on and where you turn the car off to walk away, the headlights turn off automatically? Yes. Excellent. I think that's a big important safety feature. Kind of gas it here, guys. You could do a 270 run. Nice. And, uh, well, I just, <laughs> that's all I need to do now. And we'll get it in the left lane up here. Okay, okay, left lane. 70. See, I was trying to change the lighting. Sorry. I, it took off and I couldn't reach. <laughs> Yeah, as long as your retinas so don't separate, you know you're less than 3G acceleration, yeah. right? Just thought yeah. I'd let you know that. Oh, good to know. Yeah, it's important <laughs> that you know these things. I doubt I'll ever hit 3G. <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> I have. 7Gs are no fun. 3Gs, really? are, 3Gs are fun. 7Gs are Pilot? no fun. Yeah. Very cool. So there, there are airbags, too, in the front. There's side airbags impact. everywhere. Yes, yeah, there are eight impact. airbags. Um, if you don't get the rear seats, do you get airbags in the rear area? Do you get different airbags based on the number of? Uh, this is your chance out. to gun it here, uh, Rob. Here's the place to gun it. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to get a little bit of room ahead of me here. It's people here we go, guys. Around. And the Jaguar's behind us too. Good lord. This is a non-performance car going uphill with a full load of passengers. With a full load. This is a, this is a full. Load. Okay. Guess what? <laughs> this will be the car. Excellent. <laughs> Honestly, and I wasn't I wasn't interested in acceleration. I have no interest in the performance package, really? but you just sold me the car based on that. Awesome. The smoothness and the silkiness of the ride. I'm going to go with the air suspension. It is too. very silky. Your suspension is, is awesome. I'm, a, I'm sold on that one myself. And you can fully you can adjust the even from here. And I'm going to jump I'm going to jump ahead again just for that mid mid energy passaging thing that we're talking about that mm -hmm. was just adjusted. I just okay. Here's my opening. Everybody is clear nearby. Here. So, yep. uh, which one? The first one or the uh, second one? I'll do that right. Watch that. I'll come in right. There's 85, and there's 90, and I'm going to back it down. And I have, no right now, yeah, uh, I have no way to increase regen right now, do I? Yeah, that's 90. I have no way to increase regen right now. Okay. I'm sorry, I just got to get used to the cars. No, absolutely. That's, that's what you, yeah. You're going the opposite, where most people have to get used to regen in general. Well, uh, you've red had lights ahead, I'm, I'm usually using regen to yeah. say. Uh, to the right. To the right? Gotcha. Yeah. The other thing I don't like is the up, I'll be honest with you, the upper stock on the left side is a little too close to the lower stock. That's a matter of getting used to it. You've yeah. heard that before, haven't yes. you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and actually, that, these, was, that was my reaction when I first got to yeah. want to move it, yeah. Is this mostly, and be honest, is this mostly Mercedes switchgear in this car? Yes. Okay. Not, yeah, that's obvious for anyone who's driven a Mercedes. Which I do not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go from Washington Boulevard. Gotcha. Coming back to there. Okay. Well, the smoothness is just stark. It's, uh, it's... It's a whole couple generations better than the RAV. Yeah. And turn left. Left. I keep hitting this stupid lever, and when I push <laughs> it down, what am I doing to it? What uh, does this lever do? The high beams. Okay. So when I'm pushing down, I'm flushing with high beams or something? Yes. Oops. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. Sure. <laughs> and on the left back out of that way here. Gotcha. Then we're gonna come up to that nice 270 degree turn. What's that? What am I supposed to be experiencing in that? Anything Whatever special? Whatever the hell you want. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> no, don't dangle that fish Experience in front of me. Experience the rigidity, the handling of it, how it handles the curve. 
That's that's like that's like having a piece of chicken in your hand to offer to your Labrador. Make, you know, it's yeah, make sure you have plenty of runway in front of you. Oh, well, I wanted one. to make sure I had. Now I do. Yeah, there's this, a long this, space. this intersection is a bit confusing. Good lord. Okay. Whoa. Whew. And then I want to stay in this lane and I'm curly kick it right. One. Okay. Come on. nobody behind you. You you want lot lots of uh, runway here, Bob, uh, Rob. For what acceleration and cornering? Yeah, slow down. Taking it fifty. He said taking it fifty. Definitely 50. Okay. Oh, uh, more than fifty. Yeah. So the whole idea is to experience cornering. Is what we're talking about. Yes. Right? Experience oh, what? Wow. That, that's it's incredibly really low center of gravity. Really does. Wow. Work. Well, not completely. When it goes over, a, oh good, coming up on a motorcycle. You gotta love that. Did you notice though that Sorry. when it go over the bump, the rear end dances out just a hair? Catch that? Uh, I yeah, yeah. I yeah it, that when, when it unloaded the rear, the, the rear end came <clears> out of here. Okay. Wow. Do not do this at home. <laughs> <laughs> How was the response to it once uh, once it came back in? Was it? It's, 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 it's darn near perfect. No, absolutely. Okay. There's no there's no under or oversteer that I can feel. There's none that I can feel. Awesome. No, neither over nor understeer. Does that always show up there on the left? That screen there. That's shows a spectacular. The, it shows the the, uh, uh, the he overhead signs. Yes. So that's not necessarily the nav package I have to with us. Okay, which lane first? Oh, wow. No, that's we're cool. going to be in the right lane. Gotcha. Right, exit 10. But the overhead signs, that's pretty spectacular. That comes with the turn by turn. Uh, that will not come with when you have just the maps. As long as the navigation. I'm going to have right. to count my shackles to decide if I'm going to buy that now. I've got to get one. I, I would be going with the technology package personally. I think uh, just everything it benefits the automatic opening and closing rear tailgate, HD backup camera, the Xenons, the turn by turn navigation. Uh, I, but no difference in the stereo. Uh, no. That's a different package. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And all of these guys have the premium sound if you want to try that out. Well, the other thing, too, is there is a little bit of road noise right now. And it's all tire noise, just like yes. on the wrap. There's no noise but tire noise, exactly. but I do hear tire noise. Yes. That's interesting. Uh, with nothing to cover it up, then. Yeah. Exactly. And this, have, you, have you had a chance to drive around the road stereo? at all? Because uh, that one is, is heavy, heavy road noise. Lots of road noise. Yeah. Not, well, not nearly as insulated as this car. What non-EV drivers first get the sensation is, God, it's quiet and it's smooth, but then they go, it's really quiet, but I do hear road noise. Well, yep. the answer is because all the other noise has been taken away. Exactly. The braking is, feels very linear, the acceleration feels very linear, and the cornering is very linear. So in other words, they, they really dialed the car in well over the years yeah. by developing it. But and my God, is it stiff is not the word. The car is totally stiff. There's, I don't feel any flex at all. Yeah. This car has the lower center of gravity of any vehicle you can buy right now. Any, and also, any street vehicle supposedly right the lowest CD, I think, too. Coefficient yes. of drag, supposedly. Yes, it is. What do you think? It's just you. What do you think the next car is going to be that Tesla makes? Is it going to be a, that $30,000 well, sedan that they're supposed uh, the to make? The X is next. The right. next will announce, uh, yes, I think it will be that $30,000 sedan. I don't know any more information than you would, but that's yeah. what I think we will do. I wonder if they'll do it on this platform. They'll make it. It'll be, it'll be a, what I've been told on left hand. Left. Okay. What I've been told the, the goal is is to do similar like the skateboard platform style, exactly. just in a just shorter, keep doing smaller it. package. Make it shorter, but probably as wide. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a little. This is a pretty wide car. Yes, it so is. Maybe uh, not quite as wide. I guess. I mean, because the next generation Roadster is probably also going to be on that similar platform. Is at least the the rumor mill. I think <laughs> rather than test the motors club actually. So. <laughs> it just harkens me back to my pushing the button and committing the, the deposit to this car, yeah. whatever, two or three years ago. Yeah. Well, so it was like two in the morning. You're up there. Oh, I turned and I announced to, to my partner back and I said, I'm, I'm doing it. And uh, it's just like, you did what? $5,000 <laughs> the car you won't see for several years? Yep. yep. Okay, the right lane is clear. Yes. I'm going to put blind spot mirrors on it, to be honest with you, though. It needs, it needs blind spot mirrors, which I'm used to. Well, the good news is that these mirrors are plenty big enough to accommodate them. So, <laughs> no, no, that's true. They are absolutely. Not only that, but they're triangular enough shape where it won't be in the way at all if I get them. Why don't yeah. cars include those? Why don't they don't make know. cars include those? Trucks know. sometimes do. Yeah. I mean, not the thing is stick on there, but they can, like a corner of their... Yeah, their some, uh, some cars do, but not very often you'll see them. You notice the level of regen when you take your foot completely off? It's actually very nice. Uh, Landy, how's it compared to your thing? For the uh, regen when you take your okay, foot off. One of the think? A little bit more, awesome. yeah. He has a think, but he's also a, 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 a Model S depositor. Awesome. So. Is it about the same lining? Yeah, it here. has more regen than the Think and definitely a smoother. The smoothness is really shocking. Uh, right here. Right. 
in that whole time when I turned in the driveway, I didn't touch the brakes. That wasn't braking, I was just reading. The turning radius is pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's a good, good question. Good is. Can you can you make a U-turn in this area, for example? Uh, okay. I want you a couple bit farther. Let's, let's try it out. Well, if you don't mind. Uh, but I'm going to pull where we've got to yeah. access we need to. Wise choice. <laughs> my Honda Civic has a great turning radius. I only realized that as I drove my, my mom's uh, Lexus. Is it Lexus? Acura. I don't know what you it know, is. But that's pretty that's, tight. That's, that's really oh, yeah. Almost in that one. You would hit a little not, bit. That's uh, not bad. It, and I can't, that there, and her Lexus, it's and very, right. turning mm -hmm. radius really is bad. Yeah, I had, a, I had two BMW 7 Series, and the second one I got had rear wheel steering. It was incredible how much it, it improved the, the turning radius. Well, the, the Honda oh, Prelude yeah. for a while had four wheel steer too, yep, briefly. Back in the day, yep. That was great. All right, Rob, how do I stop the recording and make sure it's Hit saved? the same button again. Stop. Not until he says to stop. I'm a pilot. I stop when the guy tells me, exactly. not till then. <laughs> and then I go up. No, I just uh, push, push it. Yep. And there we are. Now, how do I know? And Okay, I see the P. Yep. Got it. The seat belt is retracting as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Appreciate your Thank time. You I really much. do. Thank you. Thanks.